If you see a lot of green grass ahead of you, go ahead and grab it. It's the exact right play to do. That's knowing when to break the rules and when to make a play that maybe you hadn't been taught. Well, from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily when you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. A big time gain there on the keeper, using his legs to hurt him. First down. How about that there? No frills, no additives, right? Nothing crazy. Just find a way to pick up the first down. A nice run right there. Lance now on first down. Escaping the pressure right. Open man is Hill. He's got it. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Throwing now is Lance. This will be caught by Brown. He's got room to roam, and he's brought down, but he has it down to the 12 on a pickup of 12. First and 10. That's another Dolphins first down. First and 10 at the 12 yard line. They give up the middle to H.A. And a pickup of about four down inside the 10 to the 8 yard line. Facing a second and six from the eight. And Lance, he's going to change the play. Looking to throw on second down. Lance, he finds his man complete. That's Alexander. A short gain of just over two yards as the first half clock dips inside of three minutes. Out of the gun, here's a give to H.A. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Devon H.A. His 12th rushing touchdown of the year. And the Dolphins are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. Extra pick and good by Sanders. And it's now a 28-7 ball game. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Patriots take over first and 10. The Pats at the line ready to go. They are back over the 500 mark for the season. Got there with a win a week ago. Their second straight victory. Well, they've definitely gotten better as this season has gone along. And from what I can tell, they know their roles. Everyone understands how they fit offensively, defensively. And this team now has an identity. And they're playing to it and playing well. A second down throw from Levis. And he takes a shot on the release, as this will be incomplete. Part of what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. So on fourth down, here's Bryce Behringer on to punt for the Patriots. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. A good kick, 48 yards, four on the return. And it'll be Dolphin football. Let's go. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. 
And that last touchdown drive they had very balanced. How key is that balance? It's huge because most of the time when we talk about balance is run, pass, almost 50-50. But most of the times when you talk to offensive coaches, they say balance is we do what we want when we want to. And that means that they're ahead of the defense, keeping them on their heels. Well, they imposed their will on that last drive. Give them 12 yards there, and the Dolphins have a first down. And I don't think there's any question that this offense is going to need to hit on a few more plays like this. It's been a difficult first half for them, to say the least. And I do believe if they want to get back in this game, they need to start right now. It's kind of like making adjustments. If you try and wait until the half, it's probably too late. They need to get going right here. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. A little too much extracurricular there. When you have a game with a lot of contact, tensions are going to run pretty high. You're going to be emotional, but you have to harness it somehow, and he didn't on that play. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense, first and 10. H.A. now up the middle. Evades him at the 20. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Ready, Play action, now it's Lance, rolling to his right. This is caught, and so close, he gets it to the run. Out of bounds right there. Mark that as a gain of 16 to set him up first and goal. And he's over 100 yards now after that last catch. Already, of course, leading the NFL in receiving yardage. So he's done nothing at all to hurt his cause, to stay in that spot. But I've been so impressed with how he's gotten it done. And he takes it into the end zone for the Dolphin touchdown. Devon A. Chain with touchdown number 15 on the year and second of the game. And the Dolphins get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. And I believe they buzz down. They're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. A chain will score. Touchdown, Miami. Sanders on for the extra point. It's up and good, and it's now 28 to 14. Touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. Say you gon' ride, say you gon' step by me, spin the slide, say you gon' step by me, who gon' step, 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 step by me, who gon' step, 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 step by me. Yeah, told him I would be a boss before I had business. I don't even need nobody here to vouch. I was all alone, so I ain't have a witness. <laughs> right back to the lab. Gotta go to work, I'm revving up my engine. I was just putting groceries in the bag. Now wait a minute, yeah, forgot to mention. I'm a hundred million dollars richer. Might paint a hundred million dollar picture. One man army, but I don't fatigue. Better have a hundred million coming with you. Got good karma, so I'm riding pistol. Hit the crossover, leave them playing twister. Oh, they thought that I was just a... Now when I do, they call me Mr. Stop it. Big wall will suffice. Play with the family, playing with your life. Just got the ops hurt, looking sick. So we gon' disinfect them like a white. Had that boy a big cat with no stripes. Now on the gram, ain't worried about a light. Yeah, I had to go ahead and raise the fee. If you ain't rocking with it, take a hike. Say you, ride, say you gon' Say you gon' step by me. Spin the slide. Say you gon' step by me. Who gon' step, 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 step by me? Who gon' step, 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 step by me? Say you gon' ride.
you gon' step by me. Can't do it back, keep racks on me. Nah, hell with I keep three on me. Oh, so you ride it. I can do everything that you gon' like. Young rich and famous, I'm living the life. Oh, oh, pull up in that new thing. I'm swerving and hogging the both lanes. You know I'm in the mood. After I score, I'm bringing to you. They're free agent, I give them the boo. I'm with the crew, who we bringing it to? We got no limit, yeah, we on the ride. We all gon' step, we all gon' ride. Say so you gon' ride. Say you gon' step by me. Spin the slide. Say you gon' step by me. Who gon' step, 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 step by me? Who gon' step, 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 step by me? Every time I'ma step with the steppers, black and white bands looking like pepper. Flawless diamonds, yeah, I'm good under pressure. 400 racks tucked in the dresser. Blowing money fast like Big Meech. Thinking that they winning, big reach. They know I'm the best, I'm elite. I know when they hating is this stuff. Say you gon' ride. Say you gon' step by me. Spin the slide. Say you gon' step by me. Who gon' step, 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 step by me? Who gon' step, 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 step by me? Can I talk my Come on That other side The Oakley way Hey C5 Can't nobody do me like I do me And I don't care to be nobody else Cause I'm unique I'm fine with me I am God and God is me Dream so big might die in my sleep And Come I ain't running from it It's only a loss if you ain't learned nothing from it I turned to a boss Remember I was under budget Now I pay the staff off and fly them to another country It's for the love of the game Never for the love of money But don't get it twisted, still clocking big digits. I'm Rodeo, big spending. All the cribs, luxury. I can't recall the last time I did dishes, big business. All my deals, six figures and up. When you get it out the mud, it hit different. We should sell when the cops came, we hit fences. Now I'm blowing smoke out the country with two thick. I'ma take them both back to the penthouse and give. That's how it's supposed to be. Life is beautiful, I'm doing. I don't believe. Flew out to Columbia and brought me home some. Used to be the underdog, now they put me overseas And I don't wanna be nobody else, nigga Do me like I do me And I don't care to be nobody else Cause I'm unique, I'm fine with me I am God and God is me Dream so big, might die in my sleep But I ain't running from it It's only a loss if you ain't learned nothing from That's it I turned to a boss, remember I was under budget Now I pay the staff off and fly to another country It's for the love of the game, never for the love of money I used to wanna be like Wayne I used to wanna be like Nip with the Cuban link chain I used to rap like Jay, trying to make me a name Now all I do is C5 and I'ma stay in my lane I could do anything I put my mind to That's facts I wanna be a But so I start I like So I went on And start flipping packs I heard the drought three and said Dog I'm a rap I did that Superseded expectation I refuse to settle for anything Less than greatness I'm the hottest rapper on the west Let's just face it So put that pride to the side Then let's get paper Can't nobody do me like I, I do, do me. me And I don't care to be nobody else Cause, Cause I'm, I'm unique. unique I'm fine with me I am God and God is me Dream so big might die in my sleep But I ain't running from it It's only a loss if you ain't learned nothing from it I turned to a boss Remember I was under budget Now I pay the staff off and fly them to another country It's for the love of the game Never for the love of money Bars C5 Just incredible Hunger flow too Much of the country is struggling under cold temps and some of that white stuff. No such troubles here at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. Today on to week 15 in the NFL, and we've got a good matchup in store as it'll be the New England Patriots taking on the Miami Dolphins. The kicker, Chad Ryland, has this one teed up, and we are underway from Miami. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. 
And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. At their own 18 yard line. On the ready. Throwing first plays, Lance. And he's taken down. Back in his own seven. So a tough early challenge here, second and long after the sack. Lance looking to throw it. First throw of the game, going to be intercepted. Adrian Amos with a pick. And they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. Well, it's no secret he's had trouble this year with interceptions, and this is a bad start for him. First drive, throwing another pick. No matter who's broadcasting his game, that's how the conversation begins. Throwing too many interceptions, can he take care of the football? If I were his backup, I'd be edging towards the coaches and saying, hey, how about giving me an opportunity? Touchdown now on the year. And the Patriots take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. Well, Charles, he's still a young signal caller in this league, second year in the NFL. And I don't know if last year as a rookie, if he would have worked through his progressions like he did on that touchdown pass. I think you're right about that. We're seeing him grow up right in front of our eyes because when he went to his primary read, he recognized that they were all over that. So he continued to survey the field picked up another target, delivered a pass exactly where it needed to be. A very mature play for the second-year quarterback. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. Oh, a good-looking return set up here. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. He will score. Touchdown, Miami. Well, go ahead and strap in, partner. <laughs> Less than two minutes in, had to score on the one side. A quick answer, though, to get the equalizer. Sometimes you get that sense of urgency that ratchets up, right? When you give up an early touchdown like that, you just know you're like, okay, how do we go back and equalize things? Can we get it done fast? And they absolutely did. Essentially, we're back to even. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. Marcus Jones. It's a foot race. And they are not going to catch him. He's in. Touchdown, Patriots. I know a lot of special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say, challenge him. Kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam, and he got a full head of steam there. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. And this will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. The Dolphins take over first and 10 at their own 13-yard line. The Dolphins at the line, ready for their next drive. And the interception on that opening drive winds up leading to the touchdown, so now it's kind of time to start over. Yeah, it certainly is, and his first throw of the game. But I like the way his guys rallied around him. Oftentimes, the quarterback is the leader, right? He tells everyone what to do. In this case, I noticed his linemen around him kind of patting him, saying, let's go, big boy. You're still our leader. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Ready. 
to throw. It's Lance. And going deep for Hill. And got his man complete. They're all the way in from the Miami touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 88 yards. And the Dolphins are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. Sanders now to add the extra point. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all night out at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And Marcus Jones going to elect to bring this one out. Yeah, he'll be out of bounds, just shy of the 30, right about the 29. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Levis back to throw. This pass deep for Akakwo. Oh, wide open, complete. Touchdown, Patriots. Chig Akakwo. 71 yards. And the Patriots are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. Extra point by Ryland up and good. And the lead is now 21-14. Well, not content with the first quarter lead, I guess. They're going to go onside kick. A scramble for it. I think the Patriots may have got it. They did. Well, they just scored. They got the lead, and they decided to keep their foot on the accelerator, so to speak. Scouting, scouting, scouting. They had to have seen something in their preparation for this game that told them in this situation, if they get the look they like, let's go ahead and go for it anyway. They like being bold. And that is caught at the 10-yard line. Touchdown. Touchdown. Tyquan Thornton. 51 yards. And the Patriots are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Extra point by Ryland up and good. And the lead now up to 14. Back out is the kicker, Ryland, and he'll send this one away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And all deep in his own territory, he coughs up the football. So a teammate picking him up there, that was nearly disaster. And the way that you coach these things, you, you want to make sure you have eyes towards the return guy because you want to make sure that the catch is secure. And a lot of teams do that. They have at least one guy. Okay, you're responsible for making sure he secures the catch. He's not always the one that makes the recovery but he can always sound out the alarm. Hey, ball's on the ground. We've got to get it back. Again, it's A.J. And this Patriot defense up to the challenge once more as they again stop him behind the line. It's a loss of two, now third down. They have three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw him for a loss. Okay. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Running right, here's a chain And he will lose yardage here back to his own six. Not at all what they envisioned on third down. Three yards in the wrong direction. Well, that was a third and long run, and to me, that was just a wave the white flag kind of a situation. Obviously, they don't want to risk the chance of throwing it downfield and risking a turnover in this section of the field. Here's Jones. 
Now a hit and a loose football. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. And that's what friends are for. Right. <laughs> As the returner, you know who you're buying dinner for later. Oh, without a doubt, because he just took care of you and your team in a big way. You know, you turned it over there. That's a big momentum changer and put your defense in a bad spot. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. You talk about this Miami defense. And they're a tough unit to throw against, currently fourth toughest in the NFL. And I think with as good as their coverage is, and they're also excellent tacklers, they try to keep things in front of them and either make the tackle or you have to run out of bounds because there's nowhere to go. Don't let them dink and dunk all day long. They lost four there, and it's third down. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. On third down, here's Pierce. And he is going to lose yardage here. He lost two, and it brings up four. Well, this drive's been one to forget. They ended up going backwards on third and long and ended up going to the sidelines with their tail back between their legs. And now they have to pump the ball away. Here's Bryce Barringer now. And he can't field it cleanly. It's loose. So not only did they get the fumble recovery on the punt, but now look at this field position. He almost took it the distance. And the ability to not just make the play, but turn it into something big, that's what coaches harp on all the time. How do we create big plays that will change the game? And that may have been one that just did. Backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. A huge loss on the play, and that'll bring up a second and goal. We are in for a good one as we're through one on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Patriots in control of the football. As they come up now, second and goal. Now Levis. Well, that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to be the third down. Levis to throw off play action. Going up top. Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. A big play, but still not enough. Leads to a fourth and goal. This offense is looking very comfortable here in this first half. Very relaxed, very smooth, very efficient. No wasted motions. Things are definitely going their way, and they continue to move the ball downfield. Going absolutely nowhere. He'll wind up losing a yard or two. They'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down. And the Dolphins' defense is able to hold. Partner, when you see a running play stop short like that, you just know that the defensive front, they won the battle of leverage and created the push back into the opposing backfield. And for the offensive coordinator, whether you had one yard to go or 20 yards to go on fourth down, now you're probably saying, oh, maybe I should have passed it, right? Yeah, hindsight is always 20-20. Brought down back at his own five-yard line. And he's going to take this up past the 10 to about the 11. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled him up throughout the game because that was his longest go, run of this contest. Third and eight. Hustle, hustle, hustle. Now here's a little touch pass as they tap it quickly to their receiver. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. 
A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Dolphins first down. The Dolphins at 11-2 now, and they come in on the heels of yet another victory. That ran their win streak, Charles, up to seven now. And I think that that last win, that established them and stamped them to me as Super Bowl front runners. They're playing with extreme confidence, and you need that in order to go all the way. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves them with a second and three. And he is going to lose yardage here. Now third down and very long. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Here is third and quite a ways. And Lance now to throw. And going deep for Hill. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. It's a big play there for Miami. 47 yards. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Now it's A-chain headed right. And he is going to lose yardage here. The first down play, to be frank, nothing short of awful. And now they have to deal with second and very long. A-chain here. They stay on the ground. And he's going to lose yardage here back at the eight. It'll wind up being a huge loss on the play. And that'll bring up a third down and very long. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Ninth play of the drive now on third and a country mile. Now a toss right side, a chain. And they'll hit him for a loss as he's back to his two-yard line. Six a yards six in the yard wrong loss. direction that it's time. Not only down. that, but it brings up fourth. The Dolphins will send out the punter now. And he'll just punch it out of there, and it's not a great kick. Oh, the return is Jones. That'll go as a punt of 32 yards. And the Patriots will have great starting position as they take over first and 10. First and ten, it's Pierce. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. And that's what I'd like to see out of this defense, a little fire, a little toughness. It hasn't been the best first half for them, but they did do a nice job there, forcing a loss on that play. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as that stopped him behind the line. He lost two there. That's third down. So look at this. Here's the field goal unit coming out. And he is going to need to bomb this one. And this one will not get there. It's off to the left anyway. It's no good. And this will remain a two-touchdown game. And now two problems as I see it. First, you missed the kick, which granted was a long one. But second, you set the other guys up a great field position and enough time to maybe get downfield and get a field goal attempt of their own. What is going on here? Are they serious? First down, and they're in punt formation. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. 
And no return on this one as that kicks out of bounds, so they'll start just outside of their own 30-yard line. The Pats at the line, ready to go. Already enjoying a two-score lead here late in the second quarter. Not a ton of time left. We'll see if they can work this at least into field goal range and try to get three to add on even more to their lead. On first down, Levis. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Working from the gun, here's Levis. Downfield and caught by Thornton. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. That one good for 26 and a first down. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he's got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. Levis to throw on first and ten here. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. And Levis going back to the air. Throw right side here going to be incomplete. Even though he has the pocket, he's got a receiver in the area, so it's not bounding. Even though there was no way that ball was going to be caught. Going for it with Pierce, and he can only manage to take this thing to the 38, well shy of the first down. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. And he has got it from 55 yards away. That was never in doubt. And that will extend their lead even further. So he missed his first attempt, remember, but this time he gets back on the bike and knocks it home. Yeah, and sometimes that first one can really impact you moving forward. It can just stay with you too long and affect everything else you do during the game. In this case, though, able to shake it off. He's riding high again. Ready. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And with seven seconds Ready. remaining, not much time to really do anything. And he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. And now we'll get a late timeout as it comes in the waning moments of quarter number two. And unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. A final shot before half for Lance. And going deep for Hill. Oh, everything falling apart now. Another one intercepted. Adrian Amos with a pick. And he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL Audio Sports. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. So here we go for half number two. The Patriots with the lead, and they will be getting the football. 
And pretty good field position here. He's out of bounds right at the 35. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well. And most importantly, partner. And yeah, they went to the tunnel with a lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. First down, they go right back to Pierce. And he'll take this to the 46. They went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? Levis now on second down. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. And they'll need the 39 here for a first. This is third down. Back to throw. It's Levis. Completes this one to Thornton. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. Pierce now up the middle. A strong running. <laughs> and inside the 20 before he's brought down. Another nice gain. 16 yards there and a first down again. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've run the bell three times with passing touchdowns. But guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. Another carry for Pierce. And his rough afternoon continues. He's going nowhere again. Javon Holland coming up to make the stop. Third quarter from Miami. This is second and ten. Levis looking to throw. And incomplete. And here you're down in the red zone. You need to be smart, not force anything. So that's a wise decision to just get rid of the football. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full ten yards on third down. Here's Levis. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. Chigakakwo. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Patriots take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. And now before we get to the extra point, remember all touchdowns do have to be confirmed by the replay official. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Extra point by Ryland, up and good, and the lead is now 24. Now Ryland now following the touchdown, back out to kick it away. Now this is going to be returned from the back line of the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Set. 
The Dolphins at the line, ready for their next drive. Off of play action, and here's Lance. This one thrown underneath to A chain. Call it a gain of three on the play, and that'll bring up second down. On play action, Lance. And that one into the hands of Brown downfield. They'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 27 yards there, a first down. But we talked all the time about playing situational football right now. I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Again, they'll throw it with Lance. Nowhere to turn here, and he's going to go down. Back at about the 37-yard line. On second down, a run by H.A. Oh, nice move. And yeah, able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Caught the defense off guard there a bit on second and long, but now you still have to deal with third and long. Yeah, you do, but you feel pretty good about the last play, don't you? And maybe it gives you a little bit of confidence dialing up the next one that maybe your team will believe in it when you send it in. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. The defender certainly didn't forget about him leaking out of the backfield. There was a guy ready and waiting to pick him up in coverage, and that throw had no shot. Still just the third quarter, but they've got to make something happen. I think they know that. They're going for it on fourth. And they'll go for it. Lance. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Dolphins can't convert on fourth down. And the Patriots' defense is going to take over on down. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offenses call four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. And Pierce gets it again on second down. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. Brandon, I think you and I were both raised the same way in the game of football. You run to set up the pass, but I think we've discovered in this NFL, a lot of teams pass to set up the run. And that's what they've done throughout this game. They've aired it out, thrown it around the yard. Now they've come back to the running game and they find a way to be successful with it. We're off to the fourth quarter here in week 15. Happy holidays to all. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. to Pierce and there just continues to be nowhere to run he's bottled up again at the line of scrimmage officially nothing on that last run they'll try again second and ten Levis Well, fourth quarter with a three-score lead here, Charles, but they're still going back to the air and looking for more points. Well, with this game well in hand, it's an opportunity for the guys to come off the bench and get a chance to play. And a lot of coaches, they want to run their full playbook no matter who's on the field. Levis on third down. He'll get this out wide here to Elliott. 
And he will get this to the midfield stripe, but that's not going to be enough. He's a few yards short. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. The Patriots send out their punter. He'll boot it away from about his 35. And a bit of a mistake there. This is well into the end zone for a touchback. Let's go. First down Miami Let's go. as they get set to start the drive. And they were ultra confident coming in, that's for sure. They had won seven straight, but number eight not looking to be in the cards right now. Meanwhile, Lance's throw complete here to his receiver, Brown. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Throwing on first down is Lance. This will be caught once again by Brown. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Consecutive catches for him. That good for 11. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But they trimmed that lead down to just two scores. That's still a benefit to this squad. Now Lance throws the interception, his third. Picked up by Christian Gonzalez. And he'll take it across midfield to the 46-yard line. Well, that's three picks he's now thrown in this game. And I know this, the holiday season, because oh, here we are in December. Giving. Right, it is the season of giving. Maybe for his own sake after the game, he may have to announce that he's donating certain amounts to charity for each interception that he threw. Tackled by Bradley Chubb, the number five pick in the 2018 draft. They stay on the ground, but this time it's Alia. And he'll get this down close to a first down at about the Dolphins' 38. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And he will have a Patriots first down, and he's going to have it by plenty, able to get eight yards there on third and two. So first and ten now from the 30. Again, it's Elliott. And a hard-working run here as he's got it inside the 20, down to the 17. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. First down, New England. So after some runs, now they'll throw with Levis. Slant around, and he finds Thornton. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. And you wonder now if he might be able to remove the helmet, put on the baseball cap, and watch the rest of this one from the sideline. His fifth touchdown pass of the game. Say that again. Did you say fifth touchdown pass of the game? Yes, sir. But that's a heck of a performance, isn't it? Because they've had no answer for him at all, all game long. Receivers have been open constantly, and he hasn't missed a single one of them. So after the field goal, Ryland back out as he'll send this one away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked out officially at the 21. The Dolphins at the line, ready for their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're yeah, absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, 
He's got him in, complete. It's a big play there for Miami, 42 yards. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Here's Lance to throw it. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. This, the second meeting between these two division rivals. You might recall they met earlier in the year, and it was the visitors getting the win there, so they'll be looking for the sweep back here at home. Again, it's Lance. And this one almost intercepted. Far too loose with the football. Nearly a fourth pick of the ball game. That incompletion brings us one step closer to the end of this one. Maybe mercifully, partner. And let's face it, though. No surprise, they're still flinging it around. They have pride, too. Throwing his lance on third down. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Christian Gonzalez. And the Patriots are going to have the football here at their own 35-yard line. Well, they've got the huge lead. Now they have another interception on the defensive side. Seems like everything they touch in this one, Charles, turns to gold. And they have to be awfully happy right there to get what appears to be one more for the road. It helps seal away one of their best efforts of the season. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six. They go again with Pierce to the 40 and no further. The broken tackle, but then the hole closed quickly. Brandon, you're a big lover of music. How about what you just saw there? This is what I call playing the piano for a defensive line with the ability to move laterally up and down the line of scrimmage. How about the way he just flowed and got to the outside part of the field and made that play? And Levis going to change the play. Now flags come in. Looked like one of the Patriots might have moved. And this offense back to needing 10 yards after the false start. Third and 10. Levis sets up to throw here. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. I think he's as fine with that incompletion as a quarterback can be, in all honesty. He avoided his first sack of the game, and he did have a chance of connecting for yardage, just unable to on that throw. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. At their own 20-yard line. Yeah, we got more where that came from. Here we go. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect right. second half to erase that deficit Real. that they were Real. facing, CD. But unfortunately, Ready? the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. Uh, he's trying to protect his quarterback's blind side. Got nabbed for the hole. You have one job over there. Make sure that man does not get hit. So if you have to hold occasionally, do so, because they don't catch all of them. This time they did. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Another throw there off the mark, and obviously he's battled all of the interceptions. Things just haven't been true to form for him. I don't know. What do you think's going on out there, CD? That's a great question, and my suspicion is he's been coached really well 
to not show that he's having a problem. You know, they always tell you, no matter what, you keep throwing the football with confidence. But we're not seeing a confident thrower right now. He's off balance, the passing game's off balance, and the defense is taking advantage. He's going to let it fly. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Well, these guys are not going to go out with their tails between their legs. They're going to keep taking their shots until the clock's at triple zeros. But that one, like a lot of others, winds up incomplete. One final try now for Lance. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that is going to officially draw the curtain on this one as the last throw intercepted. Adrian Amos with a pick. And the Pats are going to take over at their own 28-yard line. But Charles, a lot of heavy.